Hello and welcome to another session of Riding the Bear, where we show you how you can find your next 2X to 100X, no matter what type of market conditions you may be experiencing. Now, this show is brought to you by the Better Platform and Better Ecosystem. My name is Ryan. I'm so glad to be your host today. And whether you are a veteran in our community or you are brand spanking new, today I'm going to show you how to best utilize, hands down, the best research tool in the crypto space, which is a better platform, and CrowdX Calendar to support you in finding your next 2x to 100x gem. So go ahead, drop a comment below, letting me know how long you've been a part of the better community. I actually, I'm fortunate enough to be a part of the better community since early October. I was able to, uh, to join one tribe 100x, which was kind of like the training grounds of the whole better model and ecosystem. It was running through a Discord. And, and all the work and strategies were all created there. And then it was transitioned into a project, company, team, token office, all, you, you name it. And here we are later getting ready to uh, embark on the next chapter, which is uh, Skylabs, our own launch pad. And uh, things are incredibly, incredibly exciting here in the Vetter ecosystem. Now, you may be wondering, you know, is it possible to consistently find profitable crypto pre-sales? And the answer is yes, as long as you have the right information and right tools to utilize to find these projects. Now here in the Vetter ecosystem, we have something called scouts and vetters. Now scouts, they go out and find a project and they add a project to our calendar and vetters go along and they take those projects and do a deeper dive on those projects and, and, and finding a lot of uh, in-depth information about the project. But what you see on the screen here we have something called Hot Streak Rewards. And this is where we reward our community members by finding great projects. Now you see PSC 100X, uh, she had a five streak with 80% success rate and a 3.3X streak average. That's absolutely fantastic. Brink 36, 3X streak with a 70% success rate and a 14X streak average. Next we have Hellstrom. 4X streak, 60% success rate with a 5X streak average. Metal Ride, 3X streak, 60% success rate with a 1.4X streak average. And at the time, our top scout, Radical, 8X streak, 90% success rate with a 2.9X streak average. Now, you may be looking at some of these dates, and what you see here, we have the date here, we have the project name, we have the vowel, and we have the all-time high. Now, the all-time high is obviously for this time frame, which is the first 24 hours, but the VAL, the VAL stands for Vetter Audited Highest Low. Okay, Vetter Audited Highest Low. And what that means is, if you were to have gotten into these projects, you had plenty of time to sell or swap at the gains that you see, <coughs> excuse me, right here. I just ate a little snack and it's tickling my throat. Excuse me. So the valve means that you had plenty of time to be able to sell at the game that you see right here listed here. Now, what does that actually look like on the chart? Let's go ahead and take a look. So you see, this is project <clears throat> Singmon that was scouted by 307 crypto. And the high for that period was a 9x. Okay, the first 24 hours, there was a 9X, and this user, 307 Crypto, got a 3X gain. Okay? Now, we would have something showing, and I'll show it here in a minute, how the VAL comes into play uh, on, these, on these pictures, on these images. Okay, <clears throat> But this is just showing that even in a bear market, because of the strategies, because of the tools and resources we have here in our community, this is how we're able to get these gains. So congrats, Metal Ride, for getting a 2X gain on True DeFi. Okay, the, uh, the high in the 24 hours was 2.6x. He ended up getting a 2x. Uh, Radical got a 2x as well. Uh, CoStar got an 8x on Swag Run. And this, <clears throat> this user doesn't have a username. They actually have their, their wallet address, but they got a 10x on Swag Run as well. So congrats to you guys for getting those gains. Now we'll dive into the Val here in a moment. <clears throat> But one of the things that I wanted to show is, you know, how simple it is to uh, to find great projects, no matter what 
the market conditions are, okay? So if you're watching this right now and you don't actually hold Vetter tokens, I do invite you to go visit vetter.ai, okay? There you're gonna be able to learn uh, what we are all about and why what we're doing is absolutely changing the crypto space. Now, for me personally, the thing I love most about the Vetter platform is the crowdsourced intelligence model, okay? I love that. I love being able to work collectively with other people, share ideas, share thoughts, share insights, because it ultimately saves time, it saves energy, it saves you money. Being able to work together, everybody just doing a little bit of work and finding great projects. And even the flip side is avoiding projects that are, that are not that great. <laughs> That's the other beauty of being able to work together uh, with, with it, <clears throat> within this community. Now, the reason we're seeing these types of gains is really simple. You know, we've created a simple platform that has combined artificial intelligence with crowdsource intelligence, so AI and CI. In a few minutes, you know, I'll give you an example of how the crowdsource model, crowdsource model works. But first, I want to show you how simple it is to navigate the, the Vetter platform. Let's go over here to uh, the dashboard. <clears throat> When you first log on, you're going to see a lot of information here. And uh, right here, you can also see the gains here. And we literally have hundreds of gains that are reported from our users. But the two things that I want to talk about, just real briefly, you know, there's so much stuff built into this platform that I, I just, I wouldn't be able to cover everything in this one setting. But I do want to point out two things. Number one is the Vetter University. This is where we have recorded and collected literally as much content as we can to support you in your crypto journey. Whether you are brand spanking new and you don't even know what a wallet is and why you need BNB and you just heard about Bitcoin and Ethereum and here you are, or you're a seasoned veteran, you have a lot of experience, there's videos here to support you, you know, whether you're, like I said, brand new or you are a seasoned veteran. We scroll down here to the bottom, uh, you have the better discussions. And these are the calls that we host two days a week. Two days a week, and there's various topics on, you know, how to find crypto pre-sales. Um, you know, how Justin turned 12 BNB into 62 BNB in six weeks. He and his his team. You know, are you gambling or betting with crypto pre-sales? You know, how to manage them using the Vetter platform. You know, I don't know about you, but I look at a lot of projects. I get in a lot of projects, and sometimes I have a hard time keeping track with everything I'm looking at and all the things I've got into. And even the Vetter platform has an opportunity and ability to support you in keeping those things straight and manage, you know, how to claim your tokens on pre-sale, what to look out for heading into a pre-sale. You know, some of the secrets that we've discovered as a community that can support you in what limiting your losses, limiting the, uh, you know, the, the ability to, you know, get into a rug pool or a honeypot, but also secrets to maximize your, your profits and gains. Um, and just all the data that we have here. OK, one of the things that I really, really enjoy is, is going in, in deep and collecting the data and looking at it and, and saying, hey, if, how can we use this? How can we use this to support the community winning? Um, how can we use this to, to educate the community? And so I, I nerd out on the data. Now, right here, you're going to see a calendar. You're going to see a lot of names here. These are all projects. OK, these are all projects that are launching on the uh, whether it be pink cell or DXL, they're, they're launching in the crypto. These are crypto pre-sales. Now, this can be a little overwhelming seeing all these options. So, oh my goodness, where do you start? There's so much stuff here. How do you even sift and sort? How do you know, you know what, to, what to go through? Uh, how do you know what to, uh, what to look for? You know, how do you know where to even start? Well, let's start at the top. So at the upper left, you see something that says network. And when you click network, you have a drop down menu. These are all the networks of projects that we've hosted on our platform. Okay, and what this is, is this is just a list, a database of all these crypto pre sales that are launching. And now you can sift and sort based on the kind of network that you wanna look at. Let's say you just wanna look at Ethereum. Now you just filter it down and you just see Ethereum based projects. So it takes a lot of that noise out. So you have the opportunity to really customize your user experience to find projects specifically to your liking. But we just don't stop at network. We just don't stop there at network. You can also sort by launchpad. Maybe you're all about 
DXL, but you dislike Pink Cell, or maybe you're all about Unicrypt. And as other networks come on board, like GemPad and um, RC Pad and, and things like that, we'll be able to add these networks, launch pads in there, and you'll be able to sift and sort that way as well. Now, here's where it gets really great. You can sort by category. So you're not just limited to only Ethereum projects, but you could be searching Ethereum gaming projects or Ethereum utility or Binance gaming projects. So when you click gaming, it's now just gonna show gaming projects. So these are all the gaming projects. If you click utility, it's just gonna show utility projects. Now these are all across all chains, all networks. Now, if you click this over here, you have utility and you go over to um, Ethereum, it's just gonna show Ethereum based utility projects. So now we're getting laser specific. You're finding exactly what it is that you wanna find to support you in your own research. Okay, some people like gaming projects. So we could go over here to Binance Gaming, take off utility. These are all Binance Gaming projects. Take it a step further. Let's say we just want it to be on Pink Cell. These are all Bi uh, Binance Gaming projects that are be launching on Pink Cell. You can dial it in as deep and as specific as you want. And that's what makes this so simple. The fact that you're able to get it dialed in to exactly what it is that you want to find on the calendar. <clears throat> Next up, we have event type. And now one of the things that you get to understand is the whole better model is a pre-sell strategy. Now, the beautiful thing about a pre-sell is it allows you to get in early. You may have heard that the, the, the term buy low, sell high. A lot of people hear about that. Very few people actually take action on that. And more people buy the top than the bottoms. Why? Because some people wait until things are self-evident and then decide to give it a go. That's just human nature. Okay. But our whole strategy is designed around get in as early as you possibly can. So you can actually sort by, sort by private sales. You know, private sales sometimes give you an opportunity to get a much bigger discount. Uh, sometimes there's vesting involved. There's other things. There's other perks. You know, you just get to figure out what it is that you're looking for and sift and sort that way. Okay. But we also have the ability to search for fair launches as well as IDOs if you're into that. So those are some of the ways that you can uh, sift and sort through uh, these projects to find uh, to find projects that, uh, that, that meet your criteria, okay? To, to meet the, what you're looking for <clears throat> to support you in your uh, investing ambitions and uh, your crypto, crypto ambitions. So one of the things that uh, I wanted to bring up, we're gonna go back and we're gonna talk about VAL. Talked about that a moment ago. Better audited highest low, V-A-H-L. And we're gonna go back in time. We're gonna go back to... February. And I wanted to stress the importance of, of what this, this platform really can do for you. We're going to look at a project called MetaRuffy. Okay. MetaRuffy was added to the platform on January 26th. You can see that right here. Okay. And it was added by Sir Crypto Lot. That's the scout. Now, like I said in the beginning, a scout will come along and they're going to add basic information to their report here. Okay. So they're going to add the name of the project, the Telegram website, what the launch pad is going to be on. It's on Pink Cell. Okay. They're going to add the soft cap, hard cap. What is the pre sell? When is the launch date? They're going to add their positives, red flags, where it was found, some comments, and some notes. Just really basic information. Just basic information. And then a vetter is going to come along, and they're going to provide more information, a little more depth, 
they're going to put in a little bit more work, a little more, more effort to maybe ask the team some specific questions. They may take a look at the Telegram group to get a feel and sense for the vibe of the Telegram. They're going to look into the team. Is the team docs or the KYC? What, what's, uh, what's the vibe and feel of the team? Do they have experience? What's their background? How many projects have they worked on before? See so right here, Telegram is created 28th of November. Hey, that's pretty good. This is a project that's launching on, you know, February. So, you know, a couple, couple two, two, three months there of difference. That's, that's great. And so you can see the notes here that can support you in your research. They even go into the AMAs. Are there AMAs going on? What's been scheduled <clears throat> and things like that. They even provide a short summary. Now, the beautiful part about this is this allows you to leverage your time, leverage your experience, leverage your resources. Now, leverage is the ability to do more with less. Okay? Leverage is the ability to do more with less. If you were to go try to pick up your car, that might be a challenging task. But if you were to get the jack out, jack, put the, put the jack exactly where it's supposed to go, use the tool, the jack, appropriately, and it's going to lift up the car. That's a form of leverage. The ability to do more with less. And that's exactly what this platform is and the possibility of what this is. The, the crowdsource model, being able to come here, instead of spending all of your time sifting through uh, Pink Cell or Twitter or Telegram or YouTube or Reddit, you know, wherever you get your crypto information, that's being done by a group of people in the community all working together to find these projects and then adding these projects to the calendar, adding their notes, and people adding additional information to it. And so this is the power of the crowdsource model where everyone's working together to cover all the bases, to get a clear story, clear idea, and clear picture of what's going on in the community, but also uh, the community of the project, but also overall for the project. It just gives you a good vibe and feel. Now you can use this a handful of ways. You can use this as a means of like, oh, hey, they just posted this project. Let me do my due diligence and research everything I possibly can and see if I can find everything I possibly can about this project. Okay, that's one way to do that. Or you can say, you know what? I know this scout. They've done a good job. They've done this. They've done that. Uh, I know this veteran. They've done a good job. They've done this and they've done that. And you can say, you know what? Based on their track record, you know, I've seen enough here. Okay. Based on what they've said here, it may, it may inspire you to ask specific questions you know, in the project's telegram. It may do those different things, to, but the whole idea is, is literally to, to save yourself time, energy, and money. Now, we talked about how to save yourself time by utilizing other people's experience. How do you save yourself energy? Same thing. Instead of you finding all this information yourself, you can just literally read the notes. And like I said, if there's any gaps that, that you want to, you know, hey, I want to learn about this. I want to know about this. You know, hop in the Telegram group of the project and ask your questions. How does it save you money? This area right here, red flags. Okay. If there are red flags, the scout or vetter will post the information there, which right away, if it's a red flag big enough, that could stop you and say, you know what? I don't like that. For example, if you only... If you only like looking at projects where the team is 100% doxxed, there's, there's names, there's faces, there's bios, there's socials. They're on video, they're on voice, they're doing their thing, and you're like, hey, this is a doxxed team. If you only invest in projects and look for projects that are 100% doxxed, right here, a red flag could be like, the team's not doxxed. That right there could be like, you know what? I'm not interested. It doesn't check my boxes. And that right there is how it saves you time, but also saves you money. So for example, you didn't have to do that research yourself and you realize it doesn't check your boxes. You're just going to move on. Another, another thing, a few weeks back, uh, it was brought to our attention that one of the projects 
Uh, we'd been looking at one of the projects and, you know, right before the, uh, the pre-sell, it was a pre-sell fair launch pre-sell, uh, right before it had filled, um, it, one of the things that, uh, that, that stood out was the KYC company that this team used, the website was only three days old. <laughs> and so, you know, so for some people that was a red flag for other people, it wasn't. And, uh, you know, that little bit of information that we were able to share out to the community, share that with the community, update everybody on, and allowed people to make a choice based on having all the facts, all the information. It allowed them to realize like, hey, look, you know, that's not, that's not real for me. That's not good enough for me. I'm out. It prevented some people from making a contribution and encouraged some people to, you know, take the early, you know, withdraw penalty, like 10% or whatever. You know, and the, the fact of the matter is whether the project did well, whether the project did 100x or it was a rug, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, we want to provide information so people can make an educated decision and stick to their game plan and be OK with that. Be OK with whatever the outcome is. OK, uh, Sleepy, he posted in chat, you know, personal red flag when a team doesn't know the difference between KYC and being doxxed. <laughs> So yeah, we all have our ideas and our perspectives of like, wait, well, hey, what's important? What's important for me? And Sleepy makes a great point. There's a very big difference between KYC and Doxed. <laughs> we had a team before. We had a team before share, you know, that they were Doxed, and actually it was it was KYC. And uh, you know, that ruffled that ruffled some feathers. That ruffled some feathers, and people weren't weren't too excited about uh, about that, you know, Aaron just asked you, who's going to audit the three-day-old audit company? That's a good question, Aaron. That's a great question. <laughs> but that's, that, my friends, is the beauty of the crowdsource model, uh, people working together collectively and sharing uh, these ideas, sharing these concepts, sharing these thoughts together. So one of the things that I wanted to point out with, uh, one of the things I wanted to point out with this project was just notice right here the day that this project was posted. This project was posted January 26th, 2022. And the pre-sale was on the 4th. Okay, so that's like, that's about a week plus, a week and a half. Week and a half for you to have the opportunity to do your due diligence, Read what the scout has said, read what the vetter has said, hop in Telegram, ask people, hey, have you taken a look at this project yet? What are you seeing about it? Hey, I'm liking this. I'm disliking that. What about this? I have a question about the audit here. What about this? What about that? Plenty of time to do your due diligence, get the vibe of the ecosystem. You know, this project had at the time, 5,000 members in Telegram, 5,100 members. It was vibrant. Let's see what the notes say. Telegram was started in November. Uh, always someone there from the team, positive, helpful attitude. Uh, when their questions being asked, they get answered fast. 169 pin messages. Um, there was a caption when entering. Basically, this is like secure is what they're saying. And it, it was a good vibe. Okay. And what I'm saying is you had plenty of time to do your due diligence Maybe hop on some of these AMAs, get your questions answered, ask your questions in the Telegram, get your questions answered there, but plenty of time to do your due diligence and do your research. Now, why am I talking about this? Why am I stressing this? Well, again, the 31st, oh, sorry. <laughs> I was like, wait a second, that didn't say 31st a minute ago, the 26th. So if you notice, the scout posted this on the 26th and the vetter posted this on the 31st. There for a split second, I thought I was losing my mind. <laughs> so the 30, the, the 26th, Wednesday, the 26th of January is when this came about and you can start doing your due diligence then. So how did this project actually end up doing? What was the actual end result? Well, let's just take a look at how the project ended up doing. Okay, so this project is Meta Ruffy. And what you see right here, this is day one. All the way over here is the first 24 hours. Okay, this is all the first day. So when I said day one, I meant like the first second that it was launched, okay? So from here, all the way over here is the first 24 hours of the project's life, okay? Within the first 24 hours, in that first 24 hours, it had a 5.8X all-time high, 
Now, these gains are based on uh, the, the charting feed. So different feeds are going to have different results. So, you know, PooCoin versus Dex Screener versus Dex Tools. Th there can be some variety with the information. But from this point here, the moment they launched, 24 hours later, the all-time high in that 24-hour period was 5.8x. 5.8x for that 24-hour period. And that's all fine and good. But the question is, how many people sold right here or swapped right there to 5.8x? Not many. Not many. Only one person sold at the very top. Why? Because the moment the sell came through, the swap came through, price dropped a little bit. And then when another sell came through, it dropped a little bit more. And then another one, a little bit more, another one, a little bit more, and so on. And that's why we have this wick here. So what we have done in the better community, we said, you know what? We want to have a, a standardized approach to recording gains because the masses, the majority, the average person, they didn't get this. Okay, so we came up with the vow, better audited highest low. This means that if you got into the pre-sell, you were there at launch, you had plenty of time to sell in between a 5X and a 5.8X, this gap right here. You had adequate time to sell between a 5X and a 5.8X. When I say adequate, I'm talking about more than just seconds, more than just fractions before the dump happens. That means that you could have forgot about launch. <laughs> hey, it happens. It happens. You could have forgot that you, you forgot to claim your tokens off a of pink cell. You're like, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I got to go home and claim. OK, you could be trying to swap on pancake swap and you're getting like the error and you're like, oh, it's not working. What's going on? You're panicking. Sweat's rolling down your face. You're asking what's slippage, what's slippage. You know, you've seen the people and maybe you've been one of them yourself. I know I had been. OK, when I first started, I was panicking. I wasn't sure. What we're saying is if someone got into this, they had plenty of time. They could have gone through every hurdle, every roadblock, every bump in the road and still had plenty of time to sell between a five point, sorry, a 5X and a 5.8X. Adequate time to sell. Now, the standards that we have set are for three different time frames. So this is just the first 24 hours of the project. That's a great project. 5X in the first 24 hours and you had you know an hour to sell, that's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. So within the first 24 hours, okay, the VAL stands for better audited highest low, you had at least an hour to sell at a 5X to a 5.8X, which is phenomenal. So what happened the next seven days? The next seven days, which is right here, okay, all the way over here, Okay, the seven days, price continued to go up. In that seven-day period, all-time high was around the 21X. That's pretty awesome. But again, who sold the top? Only one person. And then after that, it went down. After that, it went down. After that, it went down. Okay, so this is where the vow comes in. Better audited highest low. What we're saying here is within the first seven days, Okay, within the first seven days, this segment right here, you had 24 hours to sell at a 16X to a 21X. 24 hours, 24 hours, a full day. Okay, a full day you could have sold between 16X and a 21X. That's amazing. That is absolutely phenomenal. And again, you don't have to worry about uh, the price. You don't have to worry about what's going on. Literally, you can stick to your game plan and execute it. Okay, plenty of time, plenty of time to have massive, massive profits. Okay, so the first picture was the first 24 hours. The next picture, this is seven days. And now let's take a look at the 30 days. Okay, so right here, first day, here's the seven days. Okay, day number one, this is a seven day period right here. Now from here to here is the next 30 days. Remember I said we have three different bow time frames, 24 hours, seven day, 30 day, better audited highest low. The all time high for this project happened in the 30 day time frame. 
a 53x, which is phenomenal. Again, you know, chart differences and data feeds make that number change. It's part of the game. But 53x based on the numbers that I have, the vetter audited highest low in the 30-day time frame. You had seven days where you could have swapped and sold anywhere from 19x to 53x. That's amazing. That's like you could have gone on vacation and forgot to claim your tokens and come back and still had an opportunity to swap out in between a 19x and a 53x. Okay, absolutely phenomenal opportunity in room to, to get there and, and have that uh, ability to make massive, massive profits. And again, it's for the masses. Anybody could have got those gains had they gotten to the pre-sell, held for this period of time, and they wouldn't have to like, stress about, like, again, slippage, oh, it's not working, oh, this, this, that, and the other, okay? This, that, and the other. Now, the reason I bring up MetaRuppy is because uh, the, the timeline of this, about a week plus, you had plenty of time to do your due diligence research. And then you had the opportunity to get whatever kind of profit that you wanted, okay? 5x to 5.8x in the first 24 hours. 16x to 21x in the next seven days. 19x to 53x within the first 30 days. I mean, that is, <laughs> that is, that is absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. And so one of the things that we wanted to talk about on today's session was the fact of combining the power of the better platform and better ecosystem, the power of artificial intelligence, the power of uh, combining artificial intelligence with crowdsourced intelligence, where you know, you're, you're working together, you're finding these projects. And in this project, was a gym, okay? This project was a gym. At the beginning, I said, you know, the whole better platform and ecosystem is all about supporting you and finding your next 2X to 100X gym. And this was it. This was one of those. And you literally had a whole week to do your due diligence, utilize the ecosystem, utilize the community, utilize the crowdsource model to find this project. Now, something that we have uh, scheduled for today that's, that's really different and unique is um, I, I have I have a little a little bit of surprise for you, okay? So I want to I want to kick this off with uh, with this right here. Let me just go ahead and and share this. Ladies and gentlemen, oh my oh my god, oh my god, four hundred sixty-seven. Oh, wow. Soft cap, soft cap hit. Six hundred thirty-one. Oh my God! Six hundred eighty-seven. What the hell is going on right now? Oh my God! Eight hundred twenty-five. Okay, Phil. Phil. Whoa! Whoa! Ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God! One minute. One minute. One minute exactly. One minute. Yes. Holy shit. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What? All right. I had I had to show that. I had to show that. So listen. So you had seven days, seven plus days to find this. It was added to our calendar on over there. Jim it's a task manager. Oh, it's a project manager. Oh, there we go. Let me let me back up. <laughs> Over seven days, this project was added to our platform. You could utilize the resource and, and network with other people in the community to see if this was right for you. Go over the scouts notes, go over the vetters notes to find, to see if this project was a good fit for you. Okay, they filled their pre-sell within seconds. It was absolutely phenomenal. And we have a special treat today because Farrakh is actually here with us. Okay, so Farrakh is actually business development and innovation for... Uh, for MetaRuffy 
and um, and the new project that they're going to be coming out with. So what I want to do is I want to quickly introduce him, and we have an opportunity to chat with him about the importance of finding winning projects and also finding winning teams. So just a quick introduction for him. Uh, this is his bio. You know, my experience in Web3 is honed through taking various positions and projects as a mod, admin, tokenomics, designer, game economy, analyst, and advisor. My journey started five years ago when Classroom talked about Ethereum, cough. <laughs> it was $28 or less back then. And I immediately started researching and tried to convince many friends to buy in. Although, I never bought myself due to financials as a student. Many people found their way to the space and still until this day, my friends always say, you are crypto for us. Being part of Meta Ruffy and shaping the industry's future will pave the way for other enthusiasts and drivers to do the same. My biggest motivation is that I found a second family here and our very own virtual family with great minds challenging each other daily to become a better version of ourselves. So with that, I'm going to ask Farak to unmute. And uh, Farak, hey, brother, welcome to the session. Thanks for being here. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you for having me here. Hello. My name is Farouk, by the way, not Farouk. But Farouk, I, I apologize. <laughs> don't I, worry. I, I'll be honest, don't I am fun. absolutely horrible with pronouncing names. Nah, so, don't worry. Don't Farouk, worry. <laughs> yeah, thank you for being here, brother. Yeah, it was, it was great. Um, you know, seeing, seeing the success, and I just want to pull up the charts here because there's it, just – this is phenomenal. What you guys uh, were able to create with, with Meta Ruffy is, is absolutely fantastic. And one of the things we teach in our community is the fact of finding great teams and following great teams. And you guys knocking out of the park. And, and so I just, I wanted to talk a little bit about that. You know, mm -hmm. what was that process of, you know, finding the right people and getting the right people in the right roles to have these kind of results? So uh, I'll tell it uh, like I'll explain you a bit how we came together because it's very special, right? So we know the Binance Smart Chain space is yeah a little bit difficult, difficult in the sense that uh, you don't know who you can trust, and the the, the trust word, like yes. the word trust, is not seen pretty well in the Binance Smart Chain. You should have heard that. Like for a long time ago, people always say there's no T in the BSC. <laughs> that's sad. You know, when you think about it, it's really sad because we're, we're talking about a, a chain that offers very low entry fees for people that want to become entrepreneurs in the space and drive their ideas and products together with uh, various communities or together by building a community, build, building a team. And how we got together was simple. Our founder, Jihan, he's, a, he's an amazing guy, by the way. I mean, he's an entrepreneur himself, founded several companies, had some exits with, uh, with some of them. Um, I mean, he, he, he did a great job in his life. And that was one of his best experiences in advising startups, also building teams. And uh, I mean, it, it's simple, you know, you, you meet uh, some people in different AMAs, you get to talk to each other, you say, oh, wow, I like you. You know, the way you think about space, the way you connect, the way you talk to me, you know, I appreciate that. Yeah. And after that, uh, you know, one by one, every team member was picked. And one has to say, very importantly, you don't create a team in one day or two days. It takes right. time. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest. Uh, we, from what I know, the figures, we, I think in total, we hired around 500 people than uh, no, not 500, sorry, 200 people. And, you know, it was always on trial basis to see, okay, what can they do? What can they deliver? Right. And also, especially developers was the hardest, hardest to find because everyone thinks they are developers, but they're not. I mean, <laughs> very hard. A, a good software engineer or a full stack developer is not in the crypto space looking for jobs because he's already overbooked. Right. You know, like you, the, the biggest gems in the crypto space are full stack developers that understand the whole ecosystem. These are the biggest, the craziest, the strongest gems, right? So we, we did a lot of trial and error in, in that sense, in people management, in, in HR, so to say. And at some point, um, we got together, we, uh, especially the core team was built after we founded the company in March. 
uh, as you as you know, the Metro Rock International FCCO is based in Dubai, in the Dubai Silicon Oasis. I can also maybe send you a link regarding that, or you can find it on the website, hopefully. And uh, yeah, th that's how we like came together. And since then, I mean, uh, you can also watch our uh, video clips from the Crypto Expo in Dubai, which yeah. was an amazing experience because that was the first time the virtual team that only know it knew each other uh, virtually came together and the energy the division the, the like everything was simply perfect everyone was feeling like one big family and it is like that you know we're one big family and one thing i want you to understand is that the meta Ruffy project the Ruffy world the metaverse is still in its early stages meaning that uh, we're talking about uh, a project that is it's not done, it's not final, and we are doing several different kind of works uh, to get it to a stage where we can um, establish ourselves in the, in the whole blockchain ecosystem, not with, only with one product, but with a whole ecosystem. So just so you understand how Luber, you know, how the idea of Luber came together, um, as, you, as you know, if you checked out luber.com, it's a social NFT marketplace with cross-chain functionalities. It's really different from what you see from all these other uh, typical Binance Smart Chain NFT marketplaces that in real aren't NFT marketplace, to be honest. It's a white label solution. I can even show you where you can buy them. And, uh, you know, it's done. You, everyone could create a project like that. However, we have an in-house team. We built everything from scratch, which helps us, uh, you know, handle the whole security issues that could right. arise by ourselves. Right. And Luber, you know, at first it wasn't, uh, we needed a marketplace for our Ruffy world, right? For the digital assets that we have there for, uh, for, for the land plots, for everything. So uh, what, what, the, what do all big projects have in common? They all have like their own integrated small marketplace for their NFT in-game assets. And right. we, uh, we, while developing it, we said, wait, we, we had so many ideas on what we could implement, with what kind of features there could be. And then we realized, wait, it would be a waste of a PR campaign or name if we, if we just say it's Metarafi Marketplace. Because yeah. the product in itself, um, Propose in itself is really a unicorn product that could... Uh, in the future, especially with uh, onboarding various NFT projects, the bigger projects on different chains could become a very important part of the whole company. And uh, that's why we decided to search for a name. It was a big brainstorming. We found the name Luber, which I absolutely love, by the way. I don't know why, but <laughs> it, has a, it has a simple... It's very simple. And, you know, when you say Luber, it, I, I know it's kind of like Uber but you know the direction, right? Yeah. So th that's how we came to this conclusion. And what it's very important to understand, it doesn't replace anything. Meta uh, is the MR token in the Ruffy world ecosystem, especially the Ruffy world is still being, uh, you know, developed, uh, we're being innovative, we're improving the graphics, we're, we're doing a lot of things. Um, everyone thinks that we just gave up on MR or something. We had a lot of, not thought, but critical uh, people that didn't understand how the hybrid token model that we have here can work together in this right. space. <clears throat> and it really can work together. As you know, Luber token is 8% buy and sell, no, 10% buy and sell tax and 8% of the buy and 8% of the sell uh, is rewarding you in MR token, meaning that every buy and sell on Luber will create a, a good um, volume on the MR ecosystem. This doesn't mean that we simply need Luber to be successful with our Ruffy world. As you all know, the metaverse is still being built by various companies. You can check all the metaverse projects. Um, I can give you an example. Maybe you discussed this once here, uh, Petaverse. If you remember, they had like, I don't know, 5,800 BNB fair launch. Yeah, that was actually one of the projects that we, we talked about on, on a call like this. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You see? And what happens with them? Like, I don't want to talk bad about other projects, but what I find is 
we try to at least you know give something to the community back to show them okay you can you can create an account you can join the game you can walk around talk to people and the various activities are still being developed we're not afraid to say hey um you know we have we are still building we will keep building every day and the product will never be final because your vision is there right our vision but yeah. the vision can still adjust itself change and one quote i really want to give to your community is it's not the bigger that eats the smaller one it's the faster one that eats the slower one this mm. was our like this is like our philosophy from day one we're always saying this always using it because we're living it right so if you look at where is i don't want to name other projects but just look through their space look what they deliver what's there you know the and it's very hard to distinguish the good projects between the bad but regarding the teams just check the teams like in a way that you would check them if you want to hire them you know would you yeah. hire someone that's uh in a voice chat is not talking like uh you know, like professional or I don't know, is, is being very arrogant or is not being humble. Would you hire someone like that? I don't think so. And when you join our community, yes, sometimes I'll be honest, our mods could be can be very, um, very annoying because they, they try to protect. But we always tell them, hey, just talk to the people, let them, you know, speak their minds, let them be free in what they want to say. Doesn't matter how bad they talk. Let's just talk to them. And at the end of the day, it's a human being in front of you where you have to just listen and talk and see what the problem is. All right. And then you you try to understand it from his or her perspective or right. gender neutral perspective, because today we have to say that. And I respect that. And then uh, you can see for yourself, OK, how can I help this person maybe to understand or to win the, this person over our success? is based on a very strong core team, a very strong team overall. And what made us um, distinguish ourselves from the other projects is also the way we speak to uh, the, the investors. It doesn't matter if you invested $10 or 10,000, we treat you well, we treat you the yeah. same way. And that's <laughs> yeah, everybody, everybody has a role. Yeah, everybody has a role. And the thing is the crypto space is still so young. How, how can you, you know, be, not nice to other people and try to teach or educate them or maybe you learn something from them too you know uh, th the philosophy is not uh, thinking that we're the best or something we're not we're just very open to take our time for people that really want to be a part of this whole uh, space and that's i think that's why we're, we're successful we really found each other we're here i mean i'm very happy to be here i think uh, I need to check the name, but was it you who invited me here, or in the it was uh, it was it was uh, Brink thirty six. Yeah, Brink. One of, yeah, one of our, Brink. One, of our yeah. one of our top scouts and vetter, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I, he's he was amazing because you know he was asking everything, and I was like, hey, wow, that's how it should be. You know, that's how right. you do your own research. And right, I mean, right. And that's and that's one of the things that you know our our community is really big on. You know, supporting people in you know, asking the right questions and what to look for with these teams and projects. And that was one of the reasons we wanted to have you on because, you know, mm -hmm. as you know, talk is cheap in this space. Exactly. And, um, you know, people can talk up a big game, but, uh, it, you know, I, I don't know for you, but I, I've just, I've witnessed literally hundreds and hundreds of pre-sales and teams talk a big game. They're going to do this. They're going to do that. And, and they're the best thing and they got the best thing. <laughs> but like none of that matters until they meet an obstacle or roadblock they didn't expect and how they work through that determines <laughs> like that right there tells you everything about the team when they're met with adversity when they're met with something that doesn't go as planned you know that tells you what what the team is really about and, and what their vision is really on you know they're willing to willingness to persist you know, and so you guys have been around for for a while, you know, developing and working. And, you know, so there's a couple of things that you said that really stood out. You know, it was a very selective process with finding the right people and getting them in the right roles. And exactly. um, it was almost like, uh, um, you know, you, you were looking for that same vibe. You know, the, the, you were looking for people that, that shared that same vibe and, and vision and passion, that there was a sense of ownership and responsibility uh, for the team. 
Um, and, and I, you know, I think that that, that works, that, that makes a big difference. Um, it, it's, it's bigger than just, here's my job and here's my task, but like, here's my vision, here's my purpose. Mm -hmm. Exactly, man. You, you absolutely crush it with your words, really. That's exactly what we're, you know, doing here with how we came together, how, what we're promoting as a team. And as I said, I mean, just scan through everything. It's not just a market cap. I mean, we talked to like many times we talked to our community and said, hey, don't worry. Look, if you need money, there's somewhere I can help. Feel free to tell me. We'll see if we can help you if, if you need short term. You know, everyone has its own life. They, they can have issues in their lives or something right. could happen. I understand that really because you never know. You never know what to expect. And what I always say is, hey, we're really here for you. We're trying, we'll try our best to uh, make make sure that you stay a long-term, uh, you know, uh, part of our community investor. Doesn't matter how much you invested, but just talk to us. Uh, you know, don't let you distract from what others are saying because you, there's always, um, how do you say, two sides of the story. Right, and, right. Uh, sometimes people are very uh, biased, and I call this the recency bias in the Binance Smart Chain. This is a huge thing because uh, something happens in the recent uh, past and people th only think about that, doesn't focus on the bigger vision. That's how when we said we will go for Luber uh, token, uh, the first three days, you cannot imagine the work, the amount of hours we talk to our community just to show them, hey, please try to understand. And, you know, we had to teach them. We had to teach them why it works this way, why we choose right. this way. You know, if you look at it from a company perspective, um, you, what you do, you have a yearly uh, meeting with all your investors, with all your shareholders, and you talk about specific things but you're not required to explain them every project you do, right? You don't have to say why you did that. You just have to put it in the quarterly report. However, we said in this space where the education, lack of education is still a big issue. And I think that's the place where we can, you know, grow mass adoption. Uh, we, we had to take these steps and we wanted it because we all said, hey, I mean, we all have been there, right? So you know, we all made uh, some mistakes uh, in our early trading lives uh, in crypto. Right. We do. So we, 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 we know how they feel. And how can you be mad at these people, at any investor that's saying, oh, I lost. Uh, why is that happening? When you yourself understand how, you know, shitty it can be. Right. We've all, we've all been there. We all made, you know, we all made those mistakes and you know, the best, best we can do is try to pass on, you know, that mm -hmm. information so someone else doesn't make the same mistake that we did. Exactly. Yeah, no, I was, I, I, I like that video um, uh, when you guys, you know, filled your pre-sale just in, in seconds. You know, can you, can you think back to that moment and, um, and, and just share some of the thoughts and feelings you were having um, you know, I, I, the video, you know, it, it definitely, you can just feel and, and, and sense the excitement and energy around that. But like, can you think back to that, that exact moment? What were some of the things you were feeling and thinking? I'll be honest with you. I said to my, I, I'm a worry. How do you say, it? wait, I need to find a word. English is not my native language, to be honest. I'm from Switzerland. Okay. By the way, I dropped my uh, LinkedIn profile here. If you want to connect, you can also check. I mean, I'm in consultancy for financial services maybe you never know a uh, connection could help and everything you want to know about the marketplace i'll be the onboarding person okay so uh sorry i just had to check the chat quickly um yeah well the feeling was like when we reached i mean the first day right so we um we had a great pre-sale time the hype was there people were there and we thought okay so we just just reached a, a small step in the vision in the mission that we want to achieve right it's just a small step we were very happy as you can see from the video However, uh, me personally, I'm always uh, not critical, but very careful, right? So I'm, yeah. I mean, if you check my LinkedIn, I'm uh, like six years in risk management and compliance. 
uh, for financial services. So I was, I'm trying to, you know, keep that still with me also in the crypto space, although I did a lot of uh, <laughs> different stuff here, uh, here and there. Yeah. Uh, in space. But uh, it's still, uh, we were always like, okay, we did the first step. So what's the next? We plan the next step. Okay, how we can, you know, how can we reach this and this? It was not about reaching uh, directly 100 million, 200 million, 500 million, whatever. We said, okay, how can we build a place for people to feel secure and where they can say, hey, I'm fine with my investment. I don't mind it going up or down. I don't mind. I don't need the money or I will just invest long term. And that, that's like how you... Uh, create a sustainable community right so it's not just community creating but it's creating a sustainable place for the people you have that believe in you right and when you are a genuine and honest person uh, you always say okay look we have these investors i want to make it perfect for them i want them to win i you know at the same time when we are successful they are also successful having maybe less issues in their lives while making some money Maybe, you know, you never know. The, the more the company grows, maybe some of them will also be part of the team in the future where you say, okay, I like the way you write. I like the way you talk. You can be our PR relationship manager. Would you like that, you know, uh, in a remote working environment? So we're, we're not looking at it from uh, just a BSC project. That's why we founded the company because we really want to push out the company as a web free tech company that has various that has various ecos that has one ecosystem with various products that are yes. having their synergies and harmonize with each other so yeah that's no, I, I, I like that, that. I, I, can, I, can i jump can i jump in here real quick <laughs> sure, so, sure, so with sure. that with that ecosystem um you know one of the things that uh, that i was curious about is you know what what are the uh, what are the ways or, or plans to to generate revenue within your ecosystem so uh, that's a very good question. And that's also something very important for the pitch deck. <laughs> no, uh, joke aside, um, <laughs> the main, like at the moment, as you can see, what, uh, what we have is, uh, you know, we have token tax and for development, marketing, whatever. However, if we look at Luber, I'll focus on that a bit because that's uh, the current uh, main uh, product. So not main product, but the current, how you say the current buzzword in the BSC space, Luba. Yes. So when you look at that, um, you can see that our marketplace fee fees are 1%. So what is our goal on how we can create revenue for the long term to keep, you know, to at least cover the fixed costs that we have for all the AWS servers and for any other kind of uh, fixed costs that we have? Um, I mean, I have to say uh, the 1% is perfectly fine. We don't need more. And our goal will be in the next few, uh, in the next few months, uh, in the next few weeks, especially, to onboard various NFT projects that want to list their NFTs on our platform, which will cause the active users or general the accounts created. That's one thing, but the active users daily uh, to go through the, you know, the goal is to have a milestone at one on like at 10,000, at 100,000, at 1 million. And the more people use it actively to buy and sell, um, the more we generate revenue on this side. However, okay. I have to say one thing, so it's clear for everyone, we're not relying on, uh, at the moment, due to the, uh, what we raised so what we raised so far uh, with all the taxes we had, as you can see in Metarophy, everything, we were able to cover various um, developments and fees and marketing, like until, if I'm, I, I don't know the numbers like 100%, because that's not my, uh, let's say, uh, job area to know, but I think until the end of the year, at least, uh, it's we don't need more. And now you'll see all these uh, different volumes, may be on uh, on MR, on Uber, and there will be some revenue generated from that. And the ultimate goal then will be to reduce the taxes to zero when we are in talks with the big exchanges. But yes. for that to happen, you, you don't just need money to pay them, but you need something to show, right? So one thing I want to tell you too, I'm allowed to say that is 
when we showed uh, Luber to some people in the space that were also trying to, uh, you know, uh, develop their own NFT marketplace and whatever, I will not name them. Uh, they told us, holy moly, uh, one of them said, hey, uh, I think I, I want to buy this. And we were laughing because we said, hey, um, we, were, we will never sell. It doesn't matter if you put millions in it, whatever you want to, you know, pay. Yeah. Because what we have here, uh, if you look at luber.com, just register, look through it. We have something that is unique, that has the potential, depending, of course, on various variables and factors, that has the potential to become a unicorn product. And what, what that means is also the Ruffy world ecosystem, like the Ruffy world itself, the metaverse, always uh, has the benefit through that because they, have, they are harmonized, they have synergies, it's complementary. Right. That's very important to understand. We can continue with other questions. Sorry, I, when I talk, I talk a lot because uh, maybe you can understand. I'm very enthusiastic about it. And oh, no, absolutely. It's been a hard work, man. I, I, oh, it's been so hard. Like the last six months, I don't know. I didn't have much sleep, to be honest. I took some breaks sometimes. We all tried to, you know, stay um, active and healthy, but sometimes it's just too much. And I hope you understand. Oh, no, abs absolutely. You know, as you were saying, I'm sharing a minute ago, I'm, I'm a testament to one of the things you were saying about, um, you know, how you support the community, how you treat your community. Um, you know, you're planting seeds. And there's a handful of people in our community that that have been, you know, uh, offered different different roles in the community, whether they, they, they just started and started and filled a need or they, they were sought out. And, you know, I, I know that there's some people on the call today listening right now that uh, they have active roles in, in our community simply because of, of what you were saying in a minute ago. So I can definitely relate to that. Now, one of the questions I did have about, um, you know, obviously you guys had a fantastic, fantastic hype and marketing uh, leading into, you know, MetaRuffy, the pre-sell, the launch. I mean, and, and even still, you know, days later, it was, it was still rocking and rolling. And so with, with leading up into, you know, uh, Luber, so, is, did you guys hire a marketing agency or do you do all your marketing in-house? So uh, we always do the marketing in-house, but as we were all very busy, we had uh, one guy temporary who just organized the AMAs. We told him, hey, we want these AMAs. Can you please take care of that? Because every one of us had their role and work to do, usually for marketing related topics. Andrea, Andre Bob on Telegram and me, are responsible however we andrea is uh, focused on social media and i'm also on the part of you know getting partnerships networking and various people as you can see i'm very active also on linkedin as in my opinion linkedin is an underrated platform for the whole web3 industry and that's where i want to uh, grow uh, my let's say first my personal brand to then promote the products that we have uh, established and the company so um yeah and what's important regarding marketing is uh, I'll give you uh, the craziest insight that you might hear, but you can spend millions and millions, really spend 10 Absolutely. million on marketing. Yeah. However, nothing is better than having one person that really shares your vision in the community, because this person I swear to God, this person will get you at least five to 10 friends, families, other people, and show them what we're doing here. And it's all built on trust and trust, yes. and trust right? So, a hundred percent. I mean, I, I, so I'm, much. I I'm a living testament to that as well. Yeah. No, absolutely. Go, go ahead. I just, I, I totally agree with you a hundred percent. Yeah, it's crazy, right? So we all hear, oh, you're doing this, add full coin, this, everything's fine. It's good for the visibility to get a bit more insights. Maybe you find the one or two right persons that can help you maybe connect with others. That's fine. However, if you look at the customer acquisition costs, when you do marketing promotion, especially in, in the crypto space, uh, just... I mean, you, you guys are great with numbers and you're doing a great job, right? So just think of it and think how much it costs uh, to get a real customer that buys in and that stays. 
Right. And then you calculate how long they stay, and then you have your average, and then you think, wait, why am I investing like millions into marketing that doesn't work? Right. So that doesn't mean that we don't do anything. As you can see, we, I mean, for for Luber and Medorafi International FCCO, we booked 50 AMAs and and. On every AMA, we talk about the whole company. We talk, we talk about Rafi World, about the MR token. As you can see, the last few days, MR went up. Of course, it's also due to whitelist, but we had some great buys because people said, hey, <laughs> man, these guys are crazy. What they're doing is crazy. And they're yeah. it's, it's in six months, it's a bear market. 90% uh, of the projects died, but they're still here, right? like they're, they're putting in the work in the bear market to be ready for the bull run for the real bull run and that will be where the well where we will reap the benefits of what we're doing now right no it's 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 been great talking to you farouk i i feel like uh, there are so so many similarities between um you know our you know vet, vetter's vision and you know meta ruffy and, and and luber's vision and and the way it's been built and, and like you said you know, we are, you, us, we are, we're the 1%. You know, we, we're, we're the projects that actually have real substance that are making a real difference with a real community that can stand the test of time and make it through whatever market conditions. And like, so the, the exact wording that you're using, I mean, it, it, it sounds like um, it could be coming from our community as well. And so, it, and that's, mm -hmm. that's one of the reasons, like I said, that, that that's why we wanted to have you on to, to show our community, you know, this is what it looks like to find winning teams that mm -hmm. can have winning projects. You know, this is a, uh, this is a real company with real people that work there, you know, not just a project. We talk about that all the time. There's a very big difference between a project and a company. And, um, like, like you were sharing, you, you guys have done it. Sounds like you've done it right from the beginning, always having a vision, um, you know, bringing people on board that share in that same vision, but more importantly, own that vision. You know, there's a very big difference between working somewhere and treating it like you own that business. And, uh, you know, that make, it makes a big difference, but also believe that that mentality also goes and transfers into your community. Uh, because you, you, this is one of the things that I've been saying for a long time, and I, I'm living proof of this as well. So, you know, uh, Mike started uh, our, our community, this idea. Uh, I have a friend named Dennis that, uh, you know, I've worked with him over the years. And, and Dennis, I have a lot of respect for. Well, he knew Mike. And because he knew Mike, um, I, I, I took Dennis at his word, like, I should look at better. And same thing with a guy named Steve Carter. Steve Carter knew Mike. I'm like, hey, well, if these two guys know, I'm, I'm on board. Well, because I'm on board, my friends jumped on board. And because they're on board, their friends jumped on board. And, and to your point, that was really built on trust and reputation. And, um, and that is something that uh, is, that, that's just something special in the crypto space. When you have that trust, and you have that reputation that's been built, you know, teams that have delivered, teams that have created things, things that have, teams that have innovated and continue to innovate and serve their community. I mean, this is, this is uh, these are the things that you want to look for in this space, because these are the groups and the, the organizations that can really make a significant difference and not just a, you know, flash in the pan, you know, overnight success, but rather, a, a continuous build up, no matter what the market conditions. Exactly, my friend. Really, you you summed it up perfectly, and I'm I'm very glad to have met you guys because it's very hard to. Um, I mean, we have our people in the community that share the vision, but it's nice to to see other people that uh, really uh, try their uh, not only their best but also. Um, are very uh, educated on the matter of the whole space and have the capability to think mid to long term without being a bias, a recency biased or having a short term, you know, goal. And I'm not against having short term goal for investors. And I always say, usually, when you invest, just take your initials out when possible. And if you like the project, leave it. If you don't go out, right. that's completely fine. However, um, choose a strategy and don't think that every project you'll invest will be successful because at some point 
you'll see what happens and uh, you'll be very sad uh, <laughs> right, really, right. I mean, yeah that's one of the you things all experience that right yeah uh, absolutely that's one of the things that I, I teach you know so i do calls like this twice a week and one of the things we teach is volume of launches vol and understanding mm -hmm. that you know look at your criteria look at what you're looking for and and keep track almost like paper trading you know keep track of what's going on find these patterns find these things that work for you so you can develop ksp you know at the start of the call you know i was listing some of the scouts and i was listing their um their their their, their track records and um you know, the, the beautiful thing about that is when you see a scout's track record, you know, 80% uh, success rate, 70% success rate, you know, mm -hmm. it supports it supports users and understanding like how to view that and realizing that you're not going to win them all. And it's not the end of the world if you if you if you don't win it, you know, and having that right mindset that like the only control that we have as investors is to do our due diligence on the front end. But mm -hmm. once once it launches, it's out of our hands. And if it checked our boxes and it a hundred X is great. If it, if it doesn't, it's okay too, because we did our due diligence and we're okay with that decision moving forward. Exactly. Uh, you, you said it perfectly. What's very important is that when you invest in something that's general, right? You have to uh, be very careful on, you know, what your goal is like, I always say you, you have to think about how you want to conduct yourself in the space. If you want to be a trader, be a trader. If you want to be a collector, be a collector. If you want to be a creator, be a creator, designer, mm. be a designer. But don't try to be everything at the same time. Focus on what you want to do and then take your time for that. Because I see a lot of people, and that's general talk, where um, they try to do everything, uh, be everywhere. And you cannot be, it's, it's really hard. It's not easy. And this space moves faster than anything <laughs> else. It moves faster than a Bugatti or Lamborghini. It, it <laughs> fast. Sometimes you don't even see, uh, see a small thing because, because you're so, uh, how do you say, full of information and you're just not able to handle it. And that's normal. That's okay. That's how our brains uh, you know, work. And it's nothing bad. So yeah. always take your time, take a deep breath sometimes, take a break, do your due diligence, and then just invest. No, that's awesome. Yeah, so we're, we're a little bit over the top of the hour. I, I did want to oh, let yeah, um, a couple of our community, oh, no, you're fine. I just wanted to let a couple of our community members, um, you know, some of our top scouts and vetters, uh, you know, they had some, some, some stories to share, some thoughts to share as it relates to, uh, to Meta Ruffy and, and um, you know, some of the things that, uh, that we were talking about today. I just want to open up the floor for, for them to share. I know some of them, um, they were able to, to get in the MetaRuffy pre-sale and did really well. So uh, I just wanted to create the space for, for them to share their, their thoughts. Go go ahead, Justin. Oh, hey, yeah. Um, hey, Farouk, thanks for uh, joining us. It was uh, It's awesome to hear from you. Um, <laughs> we, uh, yeah, I, I got involved uh, in, in MetaRuffy, right? right uh, I, and I was actually fortunate enough to get into the uh, pre-sale which meant I was fortunate enough to listen to that pre-sale. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. I thought that was an that was a really awesome. Um, you could hear the excitement, you could hear the hype, and that's that's what I like to see. I mean, geez, I was almost screaming at the end of it too, and I had no reason to. <laughs> it was great. Um, I got involved in the uh, pre-sale, and then actually I left uh, the next day or so and had to go away on a on a trip for a couple weeks. So I was um, I was one of those people ryan you were talking about where i didn't claim my tokens and, and two weeks later two weeks later i came back and um and i i, I didn't worry about it i knew that it was going to be a, a successful project i was pretty stoked about it before getting into the pre-sale um and um so i got back uh two weeks after my bear hunt there and i came in and uh, i checked and I, I mean i just about hit the floor it was like i think of that time it was like a 20 20 times from so I qu quickly claimed <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, um, and yeah, I was able to, um, to sell my position for a 20, 20 times return. I, I, um, I had a few of my employees, uh, get involved in that project as well. Um, they didn't quite get in at the presale, but they got in, uh, when it was, um, when it, at, at around the five X and they were able to at least two X to five X their, their money on that as well. So it was very successful for me and, and all my guys. And, 
and yeah and so so when i heard about um luber project co coming on board and and knowing from the same team and um you know the 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 excitement that meta Ruffy has and and with the it's got a very strong community it's an awesome run uh telegram group and i, I was really stoked to uh to be able to have an opportunity to to look into getting involved to it do it doing it all over again yeah <laughs> uh so <laughs> so so yeah so um you know one of the things that i look for when i'm looking at projects um is is a strong development team and 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 a, and, a, and a team that has been involved in projects in the past and and clearly this was a very successful it's still a very successful project um and now they're moving forward with with a, a new project coming on board here and and uh I'm, it just i just think it's going to be a great uh, great opportunity for Absolutely. sure i just want to correct one thing it's not a new project it's a new product within the same company that's very important we're registered as you know uh, and uh, this is a, a product line that we're developing that will be complementary to, to what we have already. So I just wanted to uh, correct that. But yeah, for sure, we're perfectly fine. Really, everything was said perfectly. I'm happy <laughs> that you have you were able to uh, make some gains, and I hope that uh, aside from gains, you also learn and understand what. You know the, that the products are non not short term, uh, you know products that will uh, you know be out of the space in a few weeks or months, but that will that you know I just want you to understand that what we're building around here will stay for a long time and will be part of our like genetics forever. Yeah, no, that's awesome. and that's one of the really exciting things about uh, Luber is knowing that this is a long term because meta Ruffy has proved that you can see that uh in the community you can see that on the chart you can see that on the website the white paper everything there you can you can you can definitely tell it's in for the long haul and so that makes it just that much more exciting as well no, that's yeah. awesome hey, thank Perfect. you for sharing justin for sure hey guys i uh didn't get into meta Ruffy, but i been researching the team and the products that they're putting out and uh i really like it like these guys aren't resting on their past success they're pushing forward through some serious hard times right now and they're producing another branch of their product and uh, i really like that i like the idea of the product socializing nfts i think it's going to take off big time i just hope uh you guys have great success and i'm going to be sitting watching your guys's launch and trying to get a piece of lober Good thank luck, guys. you very much for your words really i appreciate that it you know when you work tirelessly to be honest and sometimes you're like wait what am i doing i need a break uh every kind of you know every nice word you say it's really refreshing and especially when a similar mind speak and also when you challenge something we're like okay we're, we're going the right direction you know it, it, it we don't need confirmation but it helps us to determine uh, you know, our uh, own vision and make sure that uh, we thought about everything possible. And really, I appreciate your words. That That's great. I'm uh, happy. And I hope you will get a piece of it and you will be a long term part of our community and we'll be happy to, you know, talk to you in the voice chats daily because we're always there. As you know, we're like any core team member is uh, very like uh, active um, in the uh, in the voice chats. No, that that's awesome. Yeah, and, and you know we can we can definitely relate to uh, you know the grind of what it takes to actually to build this and, and to build something that can that can stand the st test of time. You know, it's it, it, it you know there's a lot of copycats in the space. I I can't believe this. One one time I heard I was on an AMA with a team, and the team literally said this, Farouk. I can't I can't believe my ears, but they literally said. We've been working so hard for the last week. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh. They were being serious. Like they were, they were, they were genuine. And like, so I can appreciate they're working hard for a week, but I'm thinking, dude, like, no, wow. like a week, like we're talking like months. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Look, I will say it like that. Um, I'll still be nice about it. I'll say <laughs> the, the, I see the problem more in the lack of them not being able to uh, grasp what they really want to do or what right. their goal is. So 
usually what what you see in the space is many people getting together virtually uh just saying okay how much tokens do i get how how much this and that and that was never a discussion with us that was never any topic that we talked about we simply said we want to build this are you there how, how you know we talked we did some nice uh you know uh voice chats we we showed ourselves in video we shared our stories and that's how we came together as a unit and i mean i appreciate when people do one week of hard work but that, yeah. that's not it right so <laughs> right. What, what do you want to provide in in a week uh, the only thing you can provide is maybe a white paper or maybe a pre-sale a token a smart contract that you forked and change the names or something i don't know it, it takes more than that if, if you want to improve the space uh, foster mass adoption you have right. to be ready and willing to put in the work put in the work it, even if it takes a year two years three years just put in the work keep going keep moving forward and at some point you will reap the benefits you know you right. will eat the fruits uh, of the seeds that you put in and that's the you know that that's at the end the goal we all have and right now one of the so so five minutes before before the call i always play a song by imagine dragons called whatever it takes yeah. and like you get to have that mentality of being willing to do whatever it takes to to keep taking a step forward to keep to keep um to keep trying to you know make an improvement or to to shift or to grow or what's next to hold the vision to keep the vision alive just to not just relax and say hey we made it no it's like look our vision is much bigger than this you know our vision requires us you know to do whatever it takes and to continue to you know persist you know, without exception. So, you know, Farouk, hey, thank you so much, brother, for taking some time out and, and sharing you know, the vision, sharing some insights. You know, um, I think we both feel the same way that it's, it's so refreshing to be able to connect with other teams and communities that are bigger than just a week, you know, bigger, bigger than just a day, but actually have a vision for true impact, for true change and innovation and, and impact in the space. And then as a result, impacting lives all over the world. So Farouk, again, thank you so much, brother, for taking some time out and, and for, for, you know, sharing your, your, your vision with us. We really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you very much for having me here. And whenever you want to talk, have questions, or you want, you know, onboard your people on the platform on Luber. And if you have creator friends that are new to the space, just connect them with me. I'll help them on board. They can get their first NFT onto the platform. And at the end of the day, they'll, they'll be very happy to be able to do that. You know, um, the, the, more, the, the earlier you start as a creator, especially as a graphic designer, so to say, the better it will be, um, you know, for you to grow in the Web3 space. So thank you very much for having uh, me here. Uh, please join our socials, uh, Telegram, Twitter, whatever, wherever you want, follow us and, uh, you know, keep in, let's keep in touch. And uh, the Telegram chat is always open. So, yeah, you know, uh, we can always talk there too. Absolutely. Thank, thank you so much, Farouk. And yeah, we'll definitely be, be in touch. I, I definitely look forward to, uh, you know, maybe there's potential things that we can work on together and, and create things together. So again, hey, thank you so much for, for being here. And uh, like Jesse said, we're, you know, we're really looking forward to, uh, to the launch and, you know, the, 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 next, uh, the next phase of what you guys are creating. So thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, man. Thank you, really. So Absolutely. it was a great talk. And if you would mind, like, if you wouldn't mind, could you send me the... Uh... Uh, recording too when you when when it's done like absolutely it, yeah yeah perfect yeah thank you well, when it's when it's uploaded i will i'll get it to you okay all right perfect all right thank you have brother fun. have a good evening day afternoon take thank care. you you do the same so with that guys i hope you enjoyed uh this session you know today was a little bit different uh being able to to talk more on the side of you know what it looks like to to find a winning team and and get that mentality and insight and just based on the chat based on the comments in the chat i could tell that uh you know what what farouk was sharing was really hitting home and you could tell that it's different you know this is someone who actually has a vision and uh, that's why we wanted to have him on, on the call today. Uh, we thought that it would be incredibly valuable uh, to get that insight, to get that vibe and feel, and for you to you know, now use that as another metric 
You know, you can look at Vetter as a metric. Now you can look at, you know, this project as a metric and say, like, this is, these are uh, the, the, the gems. These are the teams that have the potential to do some massive, massive things in the space. So if this if this call was was helpful and if you enjoyed it, you know, hop in Telegram and you know let everybody know that that's uh, you know what your biggest takeaway was or what your biggest aha moment was. And uh, if you have any questions or any any you know any specific topics you want to cover on another session, feel free to drop those in, in Telegram as well, and we can address those. So with that being said, we are a little bit over over the hour, but it was a great call and I hope that uh, you all got some great information. So I'm going to uh, wrap it up. And uh, like my mentor always said, you know, life can be short. So for those that you care and love, let them know you care and love them. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for being a part of the uh, Better Platform, Better Ecosystem. And what we're creating here is, is awesome. Uh, being able to network and connect with people from all over the world, different experience levels, but the end goal is helping everybody win. So with that, I'll see you in Discord. I'll see you in Telegram. And uh, bye for now. Thanks, Ryan. Hey, thank you, Aaron.